Hi students, in this video lesson we are going to discuss the poem If by Rudyard Kipling. Rudyard Kipling was born in Bombay, British colony of India on 30th December 1865 to English parents. He is an English novelist, short story writer and poet. He supported British imperialism, he advocated uh, British imperialism. He was educated, he was born in Bombay but educated at the United Service College in England. So he was a writer of the popular children's story book, a jungle book. It was published in the year 1894. And uh, uh, Kim, it was, it's a novel and it is about Kimbali O'Hara, an Irish orphan in India and his adventures in the Himalayas. And the just so stories also uh, children's stories. It was originally written for his daughter, uh, Josephine, who died of pneumonia at the age of uh, six. So, Kipling declined many honors in his lifetime, including a knighthood and the poet laureateship. But he received uh, the Nobel uh, Prize in Literature in the year 1907. So, it's a, a didactic poem. In the poem, a father advises his son and he gives instructions to his son about leading a virtuous life. And here uh, the poet uh, instructs his son on how to handle uh, various circumstances in the years to come. So it's a 32 line uh, poem, consists of uh, four stanzas. Each stanza uh, contains an active. Active is a eight line stanza. So these are, uh, it's, a, it's an active. So rhyme scheme is uh, simple. Uh, it repeats you know, all stanzas, A, B, A, B, C, D, C, D. So here, uh, last word of the first line rhymes with the uh, last word of the uh, third line, U, U. This is B, U, U, A, B, A, B. Then, waiting rhymes with hating. Lies rhymes with wise. So waiting, this is C, D, C, D. So, so let's see, uh, let's read the uh, lines of the poem. See the first stanza. If you can keep your head when all about you are losing days and blaming it on you. So here in the first two lines, keep uh, one's head it means to remain calm, stay calm. You should not uh, get panicked. So when uh, others lose their calm, and the father advises his son. Father instructs his son not to lose uh, your uh, patience. You should be a fool when others lose their cool and blame him for their failure or make him responsible for their failures. So the speaker talks about in, in the third line, if you can trust yourself, trust yourself here it is self-belief. Have confidence in yourself. So the speaker says to his son that to have confidence in yourself, in yourself uh, uh, and it, it, it is about self-belief, it is about self-trust. You should, you should have faith in himself. So which these uh, uh, self-trust and self-belief are uh, crucial when all men doubt his capability, all men doubt you. So here, but make alliance for their doubting too. Make alliance means to take into consideration when making calculations or plans. So when you make plans, you take uh, others' uh, suggestions into consideration. You take, uh, you consider others' ideas also. So here the father suggests that you should, some should also take their doubt into consideration and think it over. Okay. Next, if you can wait and not to be tired by waiting or being lied about don't deal in here the poet uh, talks about patience the speaker highlights the quality of patience uh, without losing enthusiasm so not to be tired by uh, waiting so should I uh, hear uh, poets, uh, speaker talks about uh, have patience and waiting is uh, good for his son. 
are being lied about don't deal in lies so and also uh, here the uh, the speaker emphasizes honesty and urges his son not to lie don't deal in lies even though others lie about him others say bad about him others speak ill about him but he should not uh, say lies next or being hated don't give way to hating and yet don't look too good not talk too wise so here uh, the poet uh, talks about hating and he advises his son not to give way to hating he should not hate others he should avoid and also uh, should avoid boasting about virtues and knowledge and so don't look too good not talk too wise so you should be modest and should not show off so that is not talk too wise so let's go to next slide stanza 2 let's read stanza 2 if you can dream not make dreams your master if you can think and not make thoughts your aim so in the second stanza the speaker suggests that he should dream big he should be ambitious he should have plans he should dream big but not allow dreams to uh, rule over him so he should not allow uh, dreams now uh, he should not make dreams his master so he should not allow dreams to rule over him it means daydreaming and thinking too much if you can think and not make thoughts your aim so daydreaming and thinking too much never lead to success so here uh, the poet uh, our speaker wants to uh, say to his son that he should be ambitious and should have goals for the to achieve goals he should uh, work but should not a day dream and you know should not lose a sight of reality should be practical so let's see a third line if you can meet with a triumph and disaster here uh, the, the, these two words a triumph and disaster are a success and defeat so these are personified so personification is that it's a literary device giving attributing human characteristics to non living things or objects is a personification so here the poet personified triumph and disaster so success and defeat so he adjusts him uh, he adjusts as uh, adjusts his son to treat those two imposters just the same imposter means a person who pretends to be someone else in order to deceive others so here he asks his son to treat uh, these two imposters the same that if you can bear to hear the truth you have spoken twisted by knaves to make a trap for fools so the speaker talks about here uh, about knaves who twist their uh, who, who who twist the words for their own benefit so you should be ready to hear the words by twisted by knaves knaves are dishonest people knaves a dishonest and scrupulous person so these knaves are dishonest people they they alter the words or they twist the words 
spoken by you so you have to you should be ready to hear his words for their they twist the words for their personal benefits the speak next or watch the things you gave your life to broken and scoop and build them up with worn out tools scoop means to bend one's head or body forwards and downwards so here uh, the speaker uh, talks about a never give up attitude so he tries to instill positivity in his son he tries to uh, give moral boosting to his son saying that though he may fail in his in the verse he must be prepared to start again let's see uh, stanza 3 stanza 3 if you can make one heap of all your winnings so it's a, a metaphor and uh, here the poet uh, talks about achievements and risk it on one turn of pitch and toss so pitch and toss is a, a gambling game and uh, here uh, the poet talks about achievements all his achievements in his life so sometimes he has to face so many problems in his life and he has to face them he has to uh, tackle the issues and he has, uh, he should, he, a poet advises his son to be prepared for taking a uh, risk in his life so uh, life is uh, it's not uh, it's a cake not it's not a cake walk so he has to he should be ready to take a risk in his life and should not uh, quit when the problems when he faces problems and lose and start again at your beginnings so sometimes he may lose or he may win even though he lose everything he should he may start his a new life from scratch he may start a new life from scratch he may begin his new life from zero level so he should not worry and he should not quit so he has to uh, move on he should he should keep going on and never breathe a word about your loss and he advises his son not to talk about or about or not to complain to others about his loss or moan about his loss so he should not worry about losing something in his life if you can force your heart and now and sinew so here heart and now and sinew it means it talks about a physical activity it is about tiredness even though he is tired in his life of facing hardships suffering problems to serve you but you should not quit to serve you are turn long after they are gone and so hold on when there is nothing in you nothing in you except the will which says to them hold on so here uh, the speaker ask his son to keep trying even is tired so one should have a strong will here will it is a will power uh, which motivates them to hold on so one should have a strong will power so it it motivates to stay hold on so we observe that each stanza begins with if so if it's a, a conditional conditional class so your father instructs his son to uh, fulfill these uh, conditions if he fulfills these uh, uh, conditions he sets up a condition and the poem concludes with the result of fulfilling all these conditions 
so if you can talk if neither force if you can feel so these are all conditions and the poem concludes with the result if the boy uh, fulfills he will be a man he will be a true man he will be a he will be an ideal man so this is the result if the boy or his son fulfills all the conditions so let's uh, see stanza 4 line by line if you can talk with crowds and keep your virtue or walk with kings now lose the common touch common touch means here the ability to empathize with common people and not feel superior to them so here if you can talk to people or if you be with kings or wealthy people should not feel proud you should not be uh, egoistic so here the poet uh, talks about pride and ego so one should not be egoistic when among a wealthy or aristocratic people a rich people and one should treat the rich and the poor the same way common touch so rich and the poor in the same same way he has to treat this is the advice given by uh, father to a son if neither foes who means enemy nor loving friends can hurt you if all men can't with you but none too much so one should uh, never give up one's ideals so he should be a virtuous man neither friends nor enemies can hurt if one is strong if you can feel the unforgiving minute unforgiving minute means referring to it refers to how time does not wait for anyone so time and tide never waits waits for none so here uh, the same thing here uh, the poet says if you can feel the unforgiving minute with 60 seconds worth of distance run so the time is valuable time doesn't wait for anyone and it doesn't forgive those who waste it so we should you should not waste time so the final lines let's see these are concluding lines yours is the earth and everything that is in it and which is more you will be a man my son so the final lines are here the speaker states that the poet states that uh, if his son or any young boy or any boy uh, fulfills the conditions mentioned above in stanza 1 stanza 2 stanza 3 and stanza 4 so he can achieve success in life he will be a good man he will become a good A citizen, and he will be a 